I'm gonna show you how I insert and start my Dexcom G6 sensor in less than two minutes. Let's go. Guys, I did my Dexcom G6 side change a couple days ago and I thought I would film it and do a quick step-by-step -step tutorial video. This tutorial is for those of you who already have the Dexcom G6 app installed on your phone. If you don't have the app yet, then check this video where I explain how to do it step-by-step. -step. But now, two minutes on the clock, let's apply the G6 sensor. You're gonna need the sensor applicator, which you use to attach the sensor to your body, the transmitter, which sends the data from the sensor to your phone or receiver, and an alcohol wipe to clean your skin. Next, pick the spot where you want to insert the sensor. Now the Dexcom G6 is currently approved for use in abdomen and upper arm. And if you are under 18, you can also put it in your upper buttocks. You should pick a spot that is at least three inches or eight centimeters away from your infusion sets or injection site to make sure to get accurate readings. Try to avoid areas like ribs, hip bones and spots with scarring, tattoos, excessive hairs or irritation. Now for me, the upper arm works much better than the abdomen. When I place the sensor on my belly, the patch starts to come off after a few days. On upper arm, it stays on much better. And I think it's because the abdomen is subject to much more movement. It's constantly stretching and shrinking as we sit down, as we stand up, as we rotate our body. And when I take a shower, for example, the water is running down my belly, which makes the patch peel off really really quickly. So for me the upper arm wins. Now before you apply the sensor make sure to wash your hands, clean the side with an alcohol wipe and let it dry. And let me give you one pro tip here. You always want to apply the sensor after you washed your skin with warm water and soap because you really don't want your skin to be oily. You want the adhesive to stick firmly and the sensor to stay on for the full 10 days. Oily skin makes this much more challenging. While the skin is drying you can peel off the labels from the sensor and keep the four digit sensor code because you will need it to activate the sensor in a minute. Don't throw it out. Try not to touch the adhesive and place the adhesive directly on the dried up spot you picked. Then you just fold and break off the orange safety guard and press the orange button to insert the sensor. I like to push the applicator a bit against my skin just for a few seconds just to make sure the patch sticks well to my skin and then we can remove the applicator. By the way the applicator doesn't hurt and you can barely feel it. So once you attach the sensor, the sensor will be good for 10 days. But wait, we're not done yet. We need to attach the transmitter. So take the transmitter, clean it with an alcohol wipe and let it dry. And then insert the toe of the transmitter into the slot of the transmitter holder and snap the transmitter firmly into place. The transmitter is good for three months and you can use it repeatedly for a total of nine sensors. You should also wrap around the patch a couple times to make sure it's firmly stuck to your skin. Now that we applied the sensor, we need to start it in the Dexcom G6 app. So click new sensor and enter the four digit sensor code from the sensor you just applied. Now some people say that you should try to avoid using two sensors with the exact same four digit code because this might mess up the system. So if you have another sensor with a different sensor code, try to use it in between these two sensors that have the same code. But if you don't have one, if you only have two sensors or three sensors or four sensors with the same sensor code, just make sure there is a long enough break before you remove the old sensor and apply the new sensor, just to make sure that the system doesn't think that you're trying to extend the same sensor for longer than 10 days. By the way, you can also scan the sensor code without entering it manually. Pretty cool. And next, click Start Sensor. It will take two hours for the new sensor to warm up, and after these two hours, you will start receiving your blood glucose data and alerts on your G6 app. The readings will update every five minutes via Bluetooth as long as you keep the Bluetooth on and as long as you keep the G6 app running in the background. If you close the app, you will lose the alert. So don't close the app, let it run in the background. You don't need to calibrate the Dexcom G6, but you can. And I will make a separate video where I will talk more about how to do it. I'm Tom, I've been type one diabetic for over 30 years. And on this channel, I help you navigate your diabetes journey. If you want more Dexcom G6 tips and hack, then click on one of the videos on the screen right now. I will see you there. Ciao!